Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor. And today we're going to be talking about February fantasy. That's right, February fantasy stories, uh, which is a reading event created by the Bookish Bryants. Those Bookish Bryants, they're always up to something. And in February, they're up to this fantasy. Everybody loves fantasy. Uh, so it'll be a good time. Now, usually when we think fantasy, we think of these massive, huge, sprawling, epic stories that just go on and on and on and never end. We're not doing that uh, in February. This is, uh, we're concentrating on shorter fantasy stories. So I think the cap is at two, 250, 250 pages about. So anything shorter than that, Short novels, novelettes, novellas, short stories, which is good because this is stuff that uh, very often we don't read if we're fantasy fans or interested in fantasy because all the attention is paid to the big sprawling epics. So it's a chance to read something a little bit different. And there are a few of us who are doing it along with the bookish Bryants. Uh, so it should be fun. If you want to hop on board, just hop on board. It'll be a good time. Uh, so what do we got? We've, we're, they've split it up, the Bookish Bryants have, into four weeks. And let's see what we have. Week one is classic fantasy published before 1971. Before the 70s, apparently, that was classic and fantasy, and that sounds about right, actually. Number two, Sword and Sorcery. Of course, this is my personal favorite. Week two is Sword and Sorcery. Week three is Dark Fantasy. Dark fantasy. That's always fun. Week four, urban fantasy. Urban fantasy. Now I have to admit, when I got to urban fantasy, I kind of screamed like Darth Vader did at the end of Revenge of the Sith. No! But then I figured out what I was going to be reading and now it's all okay. So uh, a lot of us who are doing this uh, have come on and have made videos and are talking about the books that we're going to read and the stories that we're going to read. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to talk about uh, a little bit here what I'm going to be reading for February fantasy stories. Week one would be classic fantasy published before 1971. I'm going to read this book. This is C.L. Moore's Jarell of Jory, which is a short book full of short stories that were published in Weird Tales magazine. Uh, I know a lot of people are not familiar with a Jarell of Jory, a, a female fantasy character, a female warrior. Uh, and so she was sort of unique uh, because she was in Weird Tales magazine in the 1930s, right along with Robert E. Howard. Uh, and so she was a pretty influential character and she was a pretty influential, in, important character. And uh, I, I think probably one that should be read more often. So I'm looking forward to reading this. I've, I don't think I've ever sat down and read all of the stories in one volume. I've always come across them, I think, elsewhere in anthologies and things. So that'll be fun. C.L. Moore's Jarell of Jory. I don't think I've even read all of them, actually. So that'll be a good time. I'm looking forward to this. It's about time I sat down and read this book. So I'm going to be doing that in February for week one. Now, I can't promise to read all of these things when I'm supposed to read them because I'm a very, very busy reader, but I'll do my best. I, I tend to suck at this kind of thing, but I'm going to do my best. We'll see. I'll definitely read all four books in the month. That's for sure, because I've got a couple others here that I'm going to talk about. Uh, week two is Sword and Sorcery. So I'm pulling out this old paperback. This is Swords Against Darkness with a bunch of heroic, fancy sword and sorcery type of stories in it. This was published in, what year was this published? It was the 70s, was it 77? 1977, this was published, uh, edited by uh, Andrew J. Offit, an interesting fella, Andrew J. Offit. And this was a pretty important book, actually, at the time. There were a few of these. I think this was a series, although this is the only one I ever see. So, maybe, but definitely, uh, I'm looking forward to reading this. It has an old heroic fantasy sword and sorcery story by uh, Ramsey Campbell in it. And that should be interesting. And it also has the very last story in here, I believe, uh, that Robert E. Howard was working on. Uh, so 
that's interesting in itself. It's got Manly Wade Wellman. Uh, it's got uh, Paul Anderson. It's, it's going to be fun. So some good sword and sorcery stuff in here. And just to be perfectly honest, this is sword and sorcery too. So this one sort of works as well. So a bunch of sword and sorcery uh, for my February fantasy stories. And number three, dark fantasy. What will I be reading for dark fantasy? Well, there are a series of books that I was going to start reading anywhere, anyway. So I might as well start now. And that would be Carl Edward Wagner's Kane books. This is uh, the short story collection, or the collection of three novellas anyway, Death Angel's Shadow by Carl Edward Wagner. Carl Edward Wagner was a great writer, and he wrote really grim, dark fantasies bordering on horror. And that's what, that's what this is. That's what the Kane series was all about. Kane was, a, was an anti-hero. He was not a good guy. He was more of a villain. And so... It made the series that much more fun. He had a sword and sorcery villain who was, uh, he was immortal. Uh, he was the original Cain, it is hinted at. So it's an interesting series. It was great. I, I read this years and years ago. I think it was in the 90s is the last time I, I picked these up. And I really like Carl, Carl Edward Wagner. He writes good horror stories as well, as well, at least he did. He passed away in the 90s, unfortunately which was a huge loss because this guy was great. All of his Kane stories and novels are dark. And so this is definitely dark fantasy, uh, which leaves me with the final category, which is urban fantasy, which I was not thrilled with until I remembered about the great granddaddy of urban fantasy, John Thunstone. John Thunstone. Yeah, back when urban fantasy was cool, John Thunstone was around. This guy was created by Manly Wade Wellman. He was a kind of paranormal investigator, but he was a little bit more than that. There was more going on in the Thunstone stories than just regular paranormal excursions. Uh, tons of supernatural stuff, of course. If you were a werewolf or a vampire or some sort of creepy crawly, you don't want to mess with this guy. But uh, he, he existed, John Thunstone did, in a very magical-filled world. Let's just say that. He had a magic sword. He had a silver sword he would fight the supernatural with, which was basically a, mas a, magical, a magical sword. Uh, he, his arch enemy was an evil wizard because of course it was an evil wizard who was his arch enemy. So that was cool. I mean, John Thunstone, man, he was, he was the predecessor or, of characters like Dresden, only much cooler. So yeah, badass John Thunstone created by Manly Wade Wellman. I, uh, I don't have that uh, cool copy, but I do have a pretty cool set that I'm going to be reading the Thunstone so stories in. This is uh, Manly Wade Wellman's, the selected stories of Manly Wade Wellman. Uh, it's a multi-volume set that I've got hanging out over there. Came out in five volumes uh, from Nightshade Books. And so I was pretty lucky to get it. This first volume has the classic Thunstone stories that were published in the 1940s in Weird Tales. Manly Wade Wellman, uh, he showed up on the scene and he kind of took over for writers like H.P. Lovecraft and Robert E. Howard, who had passed away in Weird Tales. He kind of was the successor uh, to them. And he wrote some really cool stuff, uh, Manly Wade Wellman, uh, including the Thunstone stories. He's probably best known for the John the Balladeer stories. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'll be reading. Uh, the the early 1940s urban fantasy of John Thunstone, Manly Wade Wellman's really cool hero. So that'll be fun. Um, that'll be my urban fantasy selection. So there you go, February fantasy stories. Uh, we're doing this along with a bunch of people, not just the bookish Bryants. We've got Steve Donahue, I hear, is doing this. Mindy's Book Journey. Mindy's awesome. Uh, the Book Eclectic. Is doing it. BNB Books, Hooked on Books with Chris. 
Jason's Weird Reads is doing it. The Nerdy Narrative is doing it. The Nerdy Narrative. That's awesome right there. Uh, David Wiley. David Wiley. And uh, Jim Reads, Too Slow. I understand, man, Jim. Me too, man. So, yeah, you've got a bunch of cool booktubers who are doing it. There might even be others uh, not on that list. If you want to join up, join up. It'll be a good time. Read some February fantasy stories. So, yeah, that's all I've got for today. I will catch you next time.